Hey folks, uh, we're live. We got knives on the table right now. Uh, I'm gonna give you probably one of my favorite, and you you guys know I'm a trapper guy. If you if you've been here before, you know I'm a trapper guy. I'm a two blade trapper. Like that thing right there. That's that's the everyday carry. That's for the rest of my life, maybe unless I find something even better. But what I got for you, the best knife under $20. And like I have two or three of these things just laying about in random places. But what it is, is an open L. These things are like under 20 bucks. They got a thin little blade on them. The locking mechanism is pretty, it's pretty neat. I, 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 it's the only knife I have like this. It's under 20 bucks. And these things are just, I mean, let me get a piece of paper here for you. I mean, well, I've already cut that one up quite a bit, but these things hold a, a good edge. You, uh, My dad carries one of these around, and he'll cut net wrap off of hay bales. We're talking five by six bales. And probably 20 bells later, he's like, well, it kind of gets a little dull about 20 bells in the cut. And all you got to do, hit it on your strop, hit it on your buffer, touch up, and then it's right back to just shaving. I got a bald spot on my hand now. That, in my opinion, the open L number six, this is number six. You can get a number nine or eight or whatever fillet knife but that's like the best knife under 20 bucks go get you one just go to open L's or something I'm not getting paid for this but I mean I stick these in console fishing bag I, I will say I will say if they get too wet you know they tend to swell but let them dry out but yeah cheap knife great little thing Go get you one. Anyway, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, folks. Hey, if you haven't already, 605 McCullough with a 32-inch bar. Go watch it. Over here, White Sawyers. The literal most affordable, best steel toe boot you can get. I've been wearing these for four or five days now, and they're the most comfortable steel toes I've ever wore. Save your feet, save your toes, people. See you next time.